good morning everybody Paige and Chuck here in Udo. one of the most wonderful places in Thailand I think. the only thing it's missing here is a, a beach mm -hmm. uh, we are gonna go eat some breakfast this morning at the Irish clock say goodbye to some friends and get back on the road to our next destination been a great little trip here I always recommend Udon. Udon's a wonderful place to, I guess, transition in Thailand. This guy, I've seen him before. He's a, uh, I, actually I walked by here last night and I saw his little buggy. Let's go check it out. He may have had a little bit too much to drink because it's still there. But anyway, look, it's pretty cool. His handicap, obviously. But um, what a beast, huh? It's a Honda. Yellow. The handicap might as well be cool about it, right? Very awesome. Let's go get some food. So, where are you going? Are you going dancing? It's like nine o'clock in the morning. Oh, energy a lot. Yeah, you look very beautiful today. Thank you. Everybody loved your video last the other day when you were dancing and everything. No shoe. Oh, no shoe. Money to buy the new they want to come dance with you with no shoes. Maybe buy you a pair of shoes. Yes, and buy me a beer too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another omelet. This thing is pretty good. The cheese and bacon omelet. I'm not really sure what that is. But... Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, we are out of here. Said our goodbyes. Make sure you guys come check out the pizza place too. Very good. He's closed today. So he never closes, but he said that the problem is is that he's he's been really really busy and he has to spend today going to try to find new ingredients, new supplies cuz he makes everything fresh here. But he, he says that it's very difficult right now and has been in the past few years to try to find help in Thailand. If you live by the border, you can get people from outside. But it seems like, and this is from a lot of business owners, that the younger Thai generation just does not want to do, I'm going to say maybe this type of work. But he says in general they don't want to do anything, you know, but I, I don't know. Not just him, a lot of people. I think it's just they like to, they like to do certain things, like work in the air condition for one. Of course, who wouldn't like that? <clears throat> okay, let's pack up and go. What the hell is that? BYD. I don't know what that is. That's strange. Okay, we're out of here. Got everything. Got that for Coca Cola. Okay. here we've got about a three and a half hour drive to our next destination could be anywhere right
this is a very big town. I always try to share, well, most of the time, I share links in the video description box. And all you gotta do basically is just click on the description and then click the more tab and then it, you can drop down and see all kinds of information, our address, all kinds of stuff and that description box. But if you click on the Google map links like I shared for the hotel, you can zoom out and look at how big this town is and see all kinds of stuff. You can even click the little hotel tab in the Google map section and look at all kind of pricing and stuff like that. For those of you that haven't been watching the channel for a while, I kind of made a few videos on how to do that. But um, this is a big town, very cool town. It has just about everything I believe that you would need other than seawater. But there's an airport can get you there real quick. I find that a lot of people that live by the sea, by the ocean, on the beach, after a while they end up not going there anyway. So <laughs> it's probably a good, good idea to not really live there and just visit as often as you can. But I like the, I like the sea breeze, you know. The, I don't, I like being by the water. You know, island life and island people are pretty cool. You know, kind of laid back, not really worried about it, not too many places to go. But I like Isan. Isan reminds me more of the country back home in the States. People tend to be a little bit more politer, uh, a little bit more courtesy out of them. I don't know, in the busy metropolitan areas and the tourist areas, people just act different. I mean, not super bad, but they do act different. But I, I just, I guess it reminds me more of home, you know, yes sir, yes ma'am type living and in Isan. It's just a slower pace of life, I think. And people aren't really worried too much about stuff. say that in Thailand you do need to have these cameras everywhere front and rear those are just for me talking blah 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 cameras but the red light here when you see that thing turn like start flashing the green light j just stop don't wait for the yellow light because it flashes turns yellow and then red instantly it's not like in the US like last time we went back to the US I stopped for a yellow light and it like took 10 minutes to turn red and like people were looking at me like why are you stopping you know but here it's very little like you just need to stop if you see it flashing and you, you know you, you're kind of way back of course if you're right on it don't do that but the light what I'm saying is the light turns red really fast the blinking green light is a warning to slow down a lot of empty stuff back here I, I have almost 1500 videos out there earlier ones i was so surprised about the bathrooms but all the urinals are always outside and always like sometimes there's people cleaning ladies walking around and it's just it's not really a big deal here this is an odd looking flower pretty cool though actually huh. I couldn't resist, I walked by it, it looks pretty good. I think that's gonna go really good with my soup. This is a crazy looking van here. Oh. I feel like I wanna go check it out. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That could be our next no time to be sad vehicle right there. No. Uh, yeah, I like it. Travel trailer. You want anything from N7? 
สุดยอดครับโอ้ใช่ขายหมดเลยเดียวพี่ไปชอบมากวิดีโอ YouTube วิดีโอ YouTube very cool So he's a YouTuber too, and you do Bai Tiao, no? Bai Tiao. So we'll share his channel below in the description box. You can check it out. Anyway, he invited us into his home, so let's go. Let's go look at it. We're over here. Okay. Ah, such a. Oh, very good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got. Oh, I like that cowboy. Yeah. Banyo Texas, Cabo America. Oh, Texas cowboy. I keep a more motorcycle uh, Harley Davidson. Oh, Harley. Oh, okay. yeah. I like yeah. seeing more Harley. Yeah, yeah. Harley Davidson. Me air, do I mind? Yeah. My me, no, I mean, no air, no air. My belay, me palom. Ah, me palom. Oh, very cool. Very. Oh. Cool. So random, huh? Mm -hmm. What is that truck? It's called it's a Nang Kaya. Is the truck to have a kind of like an outdoor movie theater, uh -huh. the one that you saw in Pajua. Right? Yeah, yeah. This is the original. <laughs> so random. They actually are from Nakompanom. Imagine that. It's funny. I just wanted to take a picture of it. And I saw them out there. I was like, yeah, I bet they own this. And just so happens he's also a YouTuber. Funny. <laughs> you know what would be even funnier? If we went on a trip with them. <laughs> I'd have to install air conditioning in that thing though. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're still in Isan and we are going to be in Isan the whole entire trip this trip how about some Isan music You see all these sugar cane uh, trucks and sugar, obviously sugar cane harvesting time. The very first time I ever experienced sugar cane was, cane was in Hawaii. I, I never even knew what it looked like before. We, I, I don't know if they grow it in the U.S. or not, but I've never seen it till I till I was in Hawaii. And uh, used to be, I heard Dole Plantation moved from Hawaii. I'm not sure. 100% but they used to have big giant plantations of uh, pineapple and sugar cane and, and all kinds of stuff so anyway I stopped on the side of the road one day with my and just whipped out my knife and I cut a piece off 
of the, of the bush, the stock, put it back in the car and took off. And I thought, ah, this, I'm gonna, I just kind of broke a piece off and chewed on it. It just tasted like sweet wood. I was expecting something different, but you know, they just kind of squeeze out the juice from, you know, obviously from the tree or the bush or whatever the hell you want to call it. And that's how they get the sugar out of it. I was just chewing it like a like a toothpick or something. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, this is peculiar. Anyway, and embarrassing, but I didn't know pineapples grew on a bush. I didn't know. I thought it kind of like like a potato or something. I, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just didn't really care. Didn't really Google that much, I guess. There's another option, Mom. I don't think you need a license for that. You can go just about anywhere and pop you up on that. Well, if you haven't figured it out yet, we are in Chiang Khan. Chiang Khan is in Lei province, Chiang Khan, Thailand. Beautiful place. Nighttime, this place is alive. And uh, it's Sunday, and we're gonna have a good time here. Two nights in Lei. And then, uh... We're staying here. We gotta find parking. Well, there's no parking. This, this parking is difficult in a lot of places in Thailand, but no parking at the place we're staying. But she has a parking lot about four blocks down, <laughs> quite a ways. But she said, when you park there, just take the bikes and bring the bikes back. So yeah, we're gonna bring the bikes. I guess this will be our way back too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very funny, isn't it? You've got a cinnamon. A cinnamon. Cinnamon bike. Um, what do you have? I got a cinnamon too. Okay. Okay, let's go. I'm not sure if I can ride this bike. It's like an old, I 
like an old lady bike. I know she's like, can I ride on the back with you? It's got a seat. I'm like, I don't know if I can even balance myself on here. Come on, Grandma. Yeah. Let's try this with a few beers. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It's all about the adventure. That's it. Some more parking here. <laughs> I'm glad she had the bikes. I'm glad she had the bikes. Okay, we'll check this place out a little bit later. Hope that wasn't my tire. I don't know. It's on one. <laughs> no elevator. Anyway, they only have four rooms here. I don't know if anybody's here right now, but uh, it's kind of like a homestay. Bathroom, you have to put the key in the door, but huh? oh. yeah. <laughs> but that's a gigantic bed. We got street view tonight, and we're gonna have river view tomorrow. Okay, we'll go walking around in a little bit. Relax time. Okay, I will leave the link to this place in the description box. The, the, the street view road was 1500 baht and the river road tomorrow is 2000 baht. It's all about the same prices here. There are some a lot more expensive, but we're going to go find some lunch. I'm hungry. A lot of things you can see, a lot of things you should see in Thailand. Chiang Khan and Lai is one of them. If you go to Lai and you go up through Nan, very beautiful drive up in the mountains. If you guys want to go visit the northern part of Thailand and Chiang Rai and Chiang Mai, I suggest you rent a van with a driver and just, and just go that way. It's very beautiful, very scenic. Pack a lunch though, it's hard to find food sometimes in the mountains. Especially if you if you don't like like real Thai style food, always find noodles. Selfie Central, and yeah, we've eaten here I think a couple of times actually. We're just looking for something simple. So yeah, very cool Vietnamese pho. Looks pretty good. There is a lot of Vietnamese food here. This is expensive. How much was it? This one's cool looking. Oh yeah. Fancy. A lot of places here that aren't on the internet, that are not on Google, but it's just wall-to-wall -wall places. I'm not sure how do you get, how would you get information on how to stay out here? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. A lot of times. So just, just type uh, Facebook Chiang Khan. Yeah. Sometimes if you know their name, like this on the book, you just copy the name. Yeah. And paste on Facebook. And you could go down on a street view on Google Maps and walk this street mm -hmm. from your house anywhere on the planet. And then you could possibly get phone numbers yeah. or names and go like do a... If you can't find the name of the hotel on the internet, you might be able to see it. I don't know, sometimes it's difficult. Hello. Oh, you watch the channel? Yeah, always. Oh, very good. Where are you from? I'm 
Yeah, yeah. Bangkok. Yeah. You live in Bangkok? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How long are you guys here? Just one, come here today. One day only? Only. No, uh, tonight. Oh, today, okay. Yeah, tonight. Maybe we'll see you later and right. drink the, lots of beers. Okay. Chong Dao. <laughs> Bye. I think she's a little nervous. I think when I pop the camera out, I'm like, what? <laughs> anyway, that's uh, she just stopped us. She goes, oh, I want a picture. I'm like, I thought she just wanted a picture with a random falang. <laughs> but apparently she uh, watches the video. It's just super cool. Oh, it's See, I have Thai friends too. You don't even know it. No, a lot of Thai people watch the channel, especially ones that live overseas. You know, they miss Thailand. And I, if I don't talk so much, I'd probably have a better. They'd have a better feeling for Thailand. You want to get some weed? Right here. Oh, they're closed. They're probably still sleeping from all the, <laughs> the weed. Two thousand. That's it. Is the one inside. That's nice though. Big. Yeah. A lot of really cool places here. It's cute. Uh, so we can do it at four. Mm -hmm. This is the only reason why Paige wanted to come here. Right here. <laughs> Later on tonight, underneath this American flag sheet, will be frosty, frozen, slushy, ice cold Leo. How does that sound? <laughs> okay, now that Paige knows exactly where it's at, can we find something to eat? I'm hungry. Sure, where? Okay, Your I don't know. so mm -hmm. always have your doubts when it comes to hamburgers in Thailand mm -hmm. because hamburger is kind of an American thing but it's gonna be Thai style mm -hmm. Snack moment. before you type it in there I know Germany has hamburgers too what many places to if you want a good hamburger a real hamburger that bicycle has like stuff growing on it. You have to go to America. We're on the hunt for something to eat. A, a kind of a cool place to sit and relax. It's open now. We want to go down. Let's go down to the river and look. There's a lot of stuff on the river too, but might not be open. But how do we know? We haven't been down there yet. That's not for handicap. It's for motorbikes. <laughs> but I guess you could try a handicap. Mm -hmm. Up to you. Better than nothing. <laughs> Better than nothing, Paige says. <laughs> Mekong River. Over there is Lao. We just met some subscribers uh, from the UK. The Thai lady lived there for 36 years and she had a real, really strong British accent. Beautiful. But we are still on the hunt for food. A lot of restaurants out here. Nothing's really jumped out at us and said, come eat me. Another beer, another frozen beer spot. You just hit all them up. 
that's the thing, you know. And just follow this idea. We, we, we've kind of evolved from, from Slurpees, Terry Slurpee, Coke Slurpee, to uh, Leo Slurpee. I, I have never tried the Singha Slurpee, but I'm sure, I'm sure the Leo is probably the best for that. They say hot break too. This is a popular, popular, this is like break time, right? What time is it? Break time, 2.43. We might have to walk to the main street and go eat at 7-Eleven or something. Tell you, it's peanut. Peanut. Find a spot to sit down. <laughs> Look at this beautiful view, guys. So high. That is beautiful. Yes, it is. I, gotta go. I can't drink my beer until we get pictures. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna end the video. We're gonna be here tomorrow. I'm gonna show you guys the market. This is a really cool place. I don't wanna overkill it though. Anyway, come with us tomorrow. We're gonna have a good time. Bye. Bye.